Hokrima Media's Polity, I'm Tabi Shomulegai. Joining me today is Professor Raymond Satna, here to unpack his column titled Assessing and Engaging with the GNU After 100 Days, The Prospect for Democratic Resurgence, Part 1. Welcome, Raymond. Thank you. You speak of the emergence of the GNU happening in a situation that was both a crisis and an opportunity. So can you explain what you mean by that? I speak of a space. When the ANC lost its majority, it was a crisis in that no party had a majority and it looked like the parties that were around couldn't combine given the the experience of others. But when they created the GNU, uh, an agreement of a limited kind, it was also an opportunity, in my view, for something more. That is why I supported the GNU. It had uh, the possibility, if people engaged with it from inside and outside, to do more than the initial limited agreement. So what we're talking about is a space. A new space was created, not just parliament, but the space of the GNU. Did the GNU, was it designated to simply limit itself to ministers performing technocratically, as I suggested was the case, with Dr. Schreiber, who performs his job very well as far as I can see, or are there other things that can be done? So that was what I was meaning by an opportunity. And it relates also to the criticisms which uh, we presumably will come to. And also, Raymond, you speak of the GNU becoming depoliticized and technocratic. So is that in fact true? In the GNU, the DA and the ANC for a start. If they start battling it out over an issue like uh, the uh, way in which uh, business should be conducted, the role of capitalism, all of these things, if they battled it out, there wouldn't be a GNU. But what they decided was to make the GNU operate on a limited basis, and people have got portfolios that have got relative autonomy. They will report back, but they don't report back every day. So the consequence of this is there's not a lot of politics in the GNU at a public level, unlike parliament, uh, or if there had been a conventional coalition which was debating uh, different policies in public. We don't know the details of the uh, way in which they've negotiated over national health or the basic education legislation. And I think um, this is has led to a situation where you can't identify the GNU as a, an institutional structure which has got a political orientation. It is subservient or uh, alle- owes allegiance to the Constitution, but, and the Constitution is political, but beyond that, you don't, it's not very politicized. In fact, it's, there's not much political debate in South Africa, but definitely not in the GNU. And lastly, why do you place so much weight on the statement of intent, and how is it interpreted? Well, you see, the statement of intent is a technical document, but it also has a lot of aspects that are open to debate. It's committed to uh, eliminating inequality, racism, and it wants to build a healthy interrelationship between the people of South Africa. It's committed to the Constitution, which has got, and the Bill of Rights, which have got a number of debatable things. So what I think is those issues, it's a public document. Those issues could be taken up by members of the public if they wanted to and could be used to start debates 
which uh, can have an impact on how the GNU does its work. It's not just doesn't just belong to the GNU. Statement of intent belongs to all of us, and we're entitled to look at that document and say, what about this? What about that? And why don't you work on this section in relation to public education? Let's say uh, we take references to education in this uh, Bella book uh, bill that has been put on hold for three months. Uh, there's no reason, well, education is already relating to the question, but they're not invoking the statement of intent. Now, the statement of intent is what holds the parties together, and that, in my view, would be a good way of relating to it. Thanks a lot, Raymond. Thank you. That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to criminal media quality about assessing and engaging with the GNU after 100 days, the prospect for democratic resurgence, part one.